How do you ignore eye floaters? Do you really get used to the spots in your vision? If you have eye floaters, you probably know the top three treatments are number one, give it time. The brain should learn to adapt to the floaters and you won't notice them as much. Number two, a vitrectomy surgery where they can go in and remove the floaters from your eye. Or number three, a laser where they can zap the floaters into smaller pieces. Well, if the top recommendation is to learn how to ignore the floaters and kind of get used to them, are there any tricks to help with that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you five life hack remedies to help you decrease the symptoms of your floaters. So let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, this is Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy, and I do videos all about the eyes, including educational videos like this one. Consider subscribing so you don't miss my future videos. But let's talk about ignoring eye floaters. So right off the bat, if you have floaters and you've never had them checked out by your eye doctor before, definitely have them checked out. Make sure that there isn't something more serious going on, especially if they're new floaters and you're having flashes of light. Those are the typical symptoms people might have for something more serious, like a retinal detachment, retinal hole, retinal tear. So just right off the bat, if you have floaters, definitely make sure you get them checked out by your eye doctor. Number one, and this may seem simple, but it's to wear sunglasses. Even if it's simple sunglasses like these ones, the idea here is you want to dampen the intensity of light getting into your eyes. When you actually see floaters, you're seeing the shadows of the floaters in your eyes. So if you're looking at a bright background, like the bright blue sky or a bright white background, that bright light will get into your eye and cast a shadow from that floater and that's actually what you're seeing. So if you wear sunglasses, it'll dampen that light down so you won't notice the floaters as much. Now I do wanna mention a couple of contact lens options for you as well. You can actually get some contact lenses permanently tinted. Now it will be tinted outside and inside, but they'll act like wearing sunglasses. Or there are transition contact lenses. AccuView Oasis makes a transition contact lens where you go outside it will darken when you go outside and can also dampen the light a little bit on the inside as well. And I did a video about that, so make sure you check that out and I'll put it in the description below. Number two, and this is probably one of the most common areas that you'll notice the floaters as well, and that's when you're working on bright screens, like a computer screen all day long. Same theory as outside, if you have a bright background, you'll notice the shadows of your floaters more. So number two would be to decrease the brightness of your screens or switch over to dark mode, like Windows has a dark mode, will it make the banners darker and the screen darker and the background darker, so it's a lot more comfortable to the eyes. Tablets and phones should also have similar dark modes or dark themes that you can use as well. So number two, decrease the brightness of your screens. Now number three is related to number two and that's to darken your environment. If you live or work in a bright environment, you have bright walls, bright blinds, it can definitely cause you to notice your floaters more. So if you have the option to darken the walls or the blinds, definitely do that. A lot of people don't have the luxury just to darken their walls. And so what a lot of people will do is they'll get one of those large black presentation boards and actually put it behind their screens so it blocks out the bright white light or the bright light coming from the walls. And I'll put a link in the description below. You can get them on Amazon. And it actually does help quite a bit for people that do notice their floaters a lot at work when they're working on the computer screens. Number four, and this also may seem like a simple one, but it's to stay active. If you're sitting inside looking at your ceiling, your bright white ceiling, you're going to notice your floaters more because your brain doesn't have anything else to concentrate on. So if you can stay active, whether it's going on a walk with sunglasses, walking your dog or playing a game or doing a puzzle, kind of keeping your brain active or staying active outside, it will kind of keep your, your mind off of the floaters or you won't notice the floaters as much because you're concentrating on something else. So it seems simple, but it's a simple technique and a simple life hack to keep your mind off the floaters. Just really quick, if you're finding value from this video, hit that like button for me. Also, if you think this video might help other people out, make sure that you share it with them. I'm just trying to help as many people out as possible. Number five is atropine eye drops. Now this falls out of the category of a life hack, 
but I still wanted to mention it because a lot of people ask me questions about eye drops that could help with floaters. And this one's kind of gaining more traction and a little bit more attention, and so I still wanted to mention it. Now, atropine is actually a dilating eye drop. We use eye drops in the clinic to dilate people's eyes. It makes their pupils really big so we can check the health of the inside of people's eyes. Now, atropine is a really, really strong, strong dilation eye drop, but they found if you dilute the drop way down to 0.01%, it can have a slight effect on the pupil. It can make the pupil slightly bigger without the other side effects of blurring the vision. Now the previous things that I mentioned are ways to dampen the intensity of the light. By dilating your eyes, you increase the pupil size and it causes more diffuse light that's getting into the pupil. And so instead of having a small pupil with a solid beam of light, so you get these solid edge shadows from the floaters, if your pupil's a little bit bigger, it will cause diffuse light and so the edges of the shadows from the floaters a little bit more diffuse and soft so you won't notice them as much. So these are possibly eye drops that can help. The problem is, is it's fairly new. Like I said, it's kind of gaining traction a little bit, but it might be hard to find eye doctors that actually prescribe the eye drops. And if they do prescribe the eye drops, it might be hard to actually find the eye drops from a pharmacy. And so it's a little tricky right now, but I still wanted to mention these eye drops might be something in the future that you can consider. Now this is actually where I want to hear from you. If you have any additional helpful tips or something that helped you ignore your floaters, leave it in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear your tips as well. Now if you haven't already, check out my other video about floaters. I go more in detail about floaters and what causes floaters. I'll put that link up there as well as in the description below. Thanks for watching the whole video. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, focusing on you and your eyes. Stay focused, check out my other videos right there, and I'll see you in the next video.